the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, and how long would you survive out there with no suit? That's a good question. Um, just holding your breath. Just hold, Well, you can't really hold your breath because as the, as the pressure all goes down, the first thing you have to worry about is barotrauma. So like in your lungs and in your sinuses, and your, it's all going to like – like an overinflated balloon. So if it's, it's like if you try to hold your breath, that's a wrong thing to do because oh. you're going to... So you have to let the breath out. Okay. <sighs> yeah. You can't really do that for very long, though. Like the way people hold their breath underwater, they actually have breath in their lungs. Yeah. Right? But they're not equalizing with the pressure as they go down, you know, mm. when they do those like free diving things, right? right? So uh, if you're going to equalize, you're going to have to let the air out or it's going to just expand... Uh, and and it be extremely painful and, and, and hurt you. Uh, so you could do that, but then eventually you get to the point where the, where the pressure gets so low that the all the liquid in your tissues starts turning into gas, and it's called ebulism. And then you'll start getting this massive swelling, like your neck will puff up like that, and everything. You'll get grotesque swelling, and and wherever that your blood is turning to gas and oh. all the all the liquids in your tissues are turning into gas it's, it's not a good thing how long will that take before that starts happening that will start happening fairly quickly when you equalize after you breathe out all that air um you can counteract it by having squeeze suits like sco- suits with mechanical counter pressure that squeeze it and hold it in like a blood pressure cuff kind of pressure oh. uh kind of thing so you could do that <laughs> Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, no, you know, there's there's ways you can you can live through it, but it, it is we've had this happen to people in vacuum chambers accidents, like industrial vacuum chambers, and one test chamber in NASA once had an accident, and we've momentarily subjected people to close to space vacuum, but very quickly got them back to pressure, and they were okay. Mm. So all the bubbles just kind of like yeah, go it was like swell up and swell down. Ha, 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 ha.